Hi, I am Miguel. Hello, everybody. I'm Faith. Hi, guys. I'm Luan. And, we, and are we are your instructors, instructors for, today. for today. What's up, guys? How are you? Are you familiar with Ruder's Ford Atomic Model? Because today, we are going to make one using materials found at home. If you want to know more about it, just keep on watching. What are the materials needed? First, styrobos. Second, stand. Third, metal tin wires. Fourth, glue gun. Fifth, glue stick. Sixth, paint. Seventh, paintbrush. And lastly, tape. Let's now proceed with the procedures. Now, Prepare the styro balls, paint, and a paintbrush. First, guys, let's paint the styro balls with any color that you want to represent the protons, neutrons, and electrons. For us, we use the color red for protons, violet for neutrons, and orange for electrons. Now that we are done painting, let us prepare the painted styrofoam, the stand, metal tin wires, glue gun, glue stick, and tape if necessary. Note that we have already prepared and made a stand using metal tin wires beforehand. On the stand, attach the color red and violet styrofoam your protons and neutrons using a glue gun. you attach the protons and neutrons on the stand, create a circle shape with metal thin wires that will represent as electron orbits. You must create two circles but make sure that the one is bigger than the other. Insert the electrons evenly. For this activity, we inserted three electrons per electron orbit. After inserting the electrons in the circles, attach them on the stand using a glue gun. Make sure that the electrons' orbits are not parallel to one another.
After letting the glue dry, paint it over with color black for it to look more presentable and not visible in the model. Voila! Now we are done with our atomic model. The Ruder Ford's atomic model. Ruder Ford model, also called as Ruder Ford atomic model, nuclear atom, or planetary model of the atom. Description of the structure of atoms proposed on 1911 by the New Zealand born physicist Ernest Ruder Ford. The first main feature of this model is that all the positively charged material in an atom form a small dense center called the nucleus of the atom. However, the electrons were not a part of the nucleus. It also features that the negatively charged electrons revolve around the nucleus in well-defined orbits. Moreover, the size of the nucleus is very small as compared to the size of the atom. In many ways, the Rutherford model of the atom is the classic model built for an atom. Even though it's no longer considered an accurate representation because this model failed to explain the stability of an atom. Nonetheless, it is also a major breakthrough in discovering more about the atoms and the particles in it. That's all for today. Hope you learned a lot and had fun watching. See you in our next one. Bye!